Hey everybody, Lois with Ellie Grace's Attic. I'm so glad you're here with me. Um, pardon me, I have, I normally don't go live at this time. <laughs> my little boy's occupied, my husband's occupied, I've had a shower, I'm in my PJs, I've been wanting to do this live with you. Um, anyway, I'm getting everything together, I've already stuck my thumbs in the paint. So um, I mentioned this little project on the last live that I did about some candlestick or a candlestick that I made for a Mother's Day gift. And uh, just like any good project, I got enough materials to make two of them in case I messed the first one up. But the first one turned out great. And I wanted to show you guys how easy it came together and actually how budget friendly it was. So the materials I used, um, and I already did this step because it involved gluing and it had to dry for a couple of hours. But I used a terracotta pot, just the bottom. This is the little bottom plate that goes under the flower pot. I got it at Lowe's for 99 cents. So that's the top of our little candlestick that we're gonna make. It's a do-it-yourself candlestick. This is the bottom and it's just um, an end cap for a table leg. That's what that is. This I got at Lowe's. This one was about, I think, four dollars. It's a four by four, and it was about four or five dollars. Okay, and then this piece right here is a six inch, um, they call it a table leg. I don't know what kind of table you're making with this little bitty tiny leg, but it was on the shelving aisle at Lowe's where they had all the other materials. Um, the rounds and the tabletops and all those things. They had several sizes of these. Some were thicker, some were taller. They had several of these. Some were square, some were round, some were thicker than this one. I liked this one because it was, it kind of looked good with this little table leg. So as you can see, I've already glued a terracotta plate to the top of this and I use original whoops, that's backwards, original Gorilla Glue because this will adhere the pottery, okay, to the wood. So I had to put a thin layer of this on the top of my little table leg and um, put the terracotta plate on top and then I had to clamp it with a, like a vice grip clamp. I should have had it up here. I've already brought it back to the shop. But I just clamped it together and tightened it really good. Just put it off to the side let it dry. It takes a couple hours to really dry good. Okay. Now, this is how easy the rest of it is. This little leg already came with this little screw in it. And this little piece already came with a hole in it. <laughs> Yay, win-win. I'm gonna take the sticker off the bottom of this. And let me see if I can read some comments. Y'all bear with me, because bifocals. Um, Kim, hello to you two, gorgeous. Thank you for being here. All right. This is a super, super easy thing. Next time you're in Lowe's or in any kind of home improvement store, look for these items. Super easy gift. I, it's leaving some residue. I'm not really worried about that right now because it's going to be the bottom. I'm not even going to really paint that part, but I just don't like st stickers. So I'm going to put these two together. Real simple. It might seem kind of wonky at first, but just keep going. It'll tighten up. And look how easy that is to come together. Now earlier, I will tell you this, I put the base on it and I glued this on the top and then it's real easy because you've got a flat piece and a flat piece to put that clamp on it and I let it dry just like this. Okay, so now that it's dry, all you gotta do is paint this sucker, right? How easy is that? That took me like, the longest part is letting this glue dry and it'll stick like right when you put the glue on it sticks but when you get to moving it it slides that's why you gotta really give it the two hours don't be impatient on that part 
um, but that's the longest part of this project, right? Now, the last one I did, I painted a sage green, and I'm just using, this is acrylic paint. This is what I painted the last one because that was um, my mother-in-law's favorite color, so or one of her favorite colors and what she uses to decorate her home. We're not going to do that tonight because I'm actually going to keep this one. <laughs> So I'm going to use this um, acrylic matte chalky paint by Folk Art, and it's called Sheepskin. It's kind of an off-white, so we're going to use that color. But you can paint it virtually any color that you want. Um, you know, there's no use your imagination, whatever you want, or if you're gifting it, the favorite, you know, whatever. The possibilities are endless when it comes to paint. So I'm just getting a good dollop on there and I'm just gonna paint and that's it. Super, super easy. Um, if y'all have questions, y'all pop those in the comments or let me know where you're watching from. Sprinkle the video, share with your friends this fun little project. So easy. So all in, I already had this paint, okay? The terracotta piece was 99 cents. I did have to walk over to the garden department at Lowe's to get it, but you can get these at any garden shop, nursery. This piece in the middle, this little table leg, was probably, I want to say, six or seven dollars. And the bottom piece was three or four. It was right around all the whole for the whole thing. It was probably about ten dollars or under ten. Without looking at my receipt, which is a really good because if you were to buy one of these already painted and once the paint dries, I won't be it probably. Won't be able to do that tonight, but I'm going to hit it with some wax on the edges, and I'll take a picture and show y'all the finished project, product, project, product, I don't know, words are hard, but you know what I'm saying. I'll show you the finished thing tomorrow. I'll take a picture. Um, but yeah, if you were to buy one already painted and distressed to give it that antique -y look, you would be paying 20 or $30 dollars. True story. So to do it for right around 10 bucks is a good deal. And the thing is, it doesn't, decor and things like this, they don't have to be expensive, right? I mean, to me, when it's finished and when you see the finished prod product, you're going to be like, that looks like an expensive piece. But it's not. Okay, I'm just kind of getting in the grooves. And um, I love acrylic paint, chalky paint. It's very forgiving. So I'm just going around the base, painting it. I almost didn't go live tonight, but I was like, no, I want to show this pro project. Um, number one, I gave it as a Mother's Day gift, but this little, I mean, this is really something you could give um, an any time of the year gift, a birthday, um, a wedding. It can be put in a basket. It can go in conjunction with another gift. Um, and you can use it, like you could put, um, you could just put the, a candle by itself on here. I, you could put a candle in a jar. I actually, in one of the pictures I'll show you when I post tomorrow, I um, also gave her a uh, mason jar that I had painted with chalk paint and made it into a vase and some fresh flowers. And I had that sitting on the top. So... It could be a pedestal for just about anything. You could put a candy dish on it. So it can be used for many things. It could be a cupcake stand. I love gifts that are multi-purpose. 
All right. I'll just making our way down. I don't know why I'm worried about touching the paint. I already have paint all over my hands. <laughs> all right. I'm just using a mop brush, no, nothing fancy. Doesn't have to be a special brush, any brush will do. Kinda have to, it's curved, so I kinda have to turn it to get underneath the bottom. Um, hold on, I'm gonna try to read a comment. Those glass balls would look really, those glass balls, yes, I know what you're talking about. Where do we buy those, Kim? Can you get those anywhere? The I know what you're talking about. It almost looks like a crystal ball, um, like a looking glass. But I don't know, can you get those at Hobby Lobby or craft departments? Or I, I guess I've never been shopping for one of those, so I don't know. Where does one get a looking glass? That's a good suggestion, though. Those are really pretty. I've seen those a lot. Oh, you can get them at Lowe's. Who knows? I never looked for them at Lowe's, but I'm going to have to look. I guess it would be in the garden department because I've seen them a lot in people's yards. And then, of course, I've seen the fish in uh, the mercury balls, like at the beach. That would be a great idea, though. I'm, I think I might have to. Thanks, Kim. I'm going to be on the lookout now for some. Okay, I'm really not um, going for perfection here. So there's like some spots that I'm kind of leaving a little raw. Because when I come back with that wax, it's going to... Um... <laughs> Kim, you're funny. Um... I'm out in the sticks too. Anyway, I'm leaving some of the spots. I don't know if you can see. Well, you might not be able to see. Some, there's a few spots that like don't have um, full coverage because when I come back and hit it with the antique wax, it's going to um, get those spots. Now, I will tell you, too, if you use chalky paint, my chalky paint, I have not used this probably in about seven or eight months. And it settles and gets starts separating. It doesn't mean it's bad. I just used um, a stirrer and stirred it right back up, and it was perfectly fine. It's just what chalky paint does. Especially if you make it homemade. I mean, this was store-bought, but like I've made some before because all it is is like plaster of Paris and some paint and a little bit of water. So it'll that plaster of, of Paris will start settling and uh, separating, and it looks really funky. But it still paints. Never fear. All right. So now, hopefully this top part is mostly dry, where I can get this in base without getting too much more paint on myself, because, you know, I did already take a shower. Y'all, I'm a hot mess. If y'all haven't figured that out by now, from, I mean, most of you have followed me more than a minute. If you've been around longer than a minute, then you know I'm one hot mess. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It's kind of like a train wreck. Just can't stop watching. All right, now we're going to hit these sides like so. And yes, I'm getting paint on the table, but that's okay. This is a painter's table. I got this desk, believe it or not. I'll share this little freebie of information with you. At a garage sale for $25, my friend and I, a task if you're watching, thank you for helping me load this table up. We were in a truck, praise God, and um, the man told us I could have it for $25. I'm pretty sure it was 
Yeah, it was $25. And we didn't second guess that. I paid the man and we, now you have to imagine, I am 5'1 and a half. That's how tall I am. My friend Ataska is about 5'1 too. 5'1, five 5'2. One, five we are not tall people. And uh, we hauled this table, or this desk, it's a desk. And it's about four foot by seven feet. It's big. We hauled that sucker out, put it on, uh, and we had to like take, it was in an antique store. <laughs> we had to like move it, not break anything else in the store, haul it out, get it loaded up in the truck and hauled that sucker home. And I've had it a good 15, 20 years. It's been a while. Um, and it is full of paint. It's been around the block, this table, but I love it. I'm just, I'm not painting the whole bottom. I'm just getting around making sure the edges are good and we're about done with this sucker. It is super cute just like it is, but I like that kind of antique rustic vibe happening. So I'm gonna come back and hit it with some wax. I might be able to go ahead and do the top and show y'all. Just kind of fixing my edges where I came back over. All right, I'm going to put that in some water because I'm going to call that good. So there we have it. Isn't that cute? You saw what it looked like in the beginning. There it is. This is under 10. We're invested about 10 bucks right here, okay? And, um, uh-oh, I got some drippage right here. I don't want to, I don't want to have any crazy giant paint blobs so let me get rid of those real quick okay all right i think i got them all all right so here we are super cute like that i am going to see if i can get my wax pardon me because you're about to get a dose of my pjs <laughs> sorry all right, I got some antique wax right here. And let me see if I can find another brush. Yes, 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 yes. All right, and I also need a halfway clean. Ugh, that one's not clean. Hold on, I gotta get a clean paper towel. Y'all don't go anywhere. All right. Always keep paper towels handy. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna do the top to kind of show you. I think the top, eh, the top part's really dry, it dries fast, but I'm just gonna take this antique wax. This is Waverly Wax, I got it at Walmart, but there's all kind of different brands of antique wax. This is a dark brown antique wax and I'm just gonna stick my brush in there it lasts forever y'all because you only need a little tiny bit at a time the way I use it and I am just going to lightly brush it around the edges of my um, top piece here just kind of lightly hitting the edges The rim, um, you know, the corners are kind of what we're hitting. And now I'm going to take this paper towel and I'm just going to wipe. And it's almost, you're just kind of smearing it off, right? Just leaving behind a pretty um, aged look. My bottom piece is totally not dry and I'm totally like finger <laughs> like got my fingers all over it right now. But it's okay because it's chalky paint. So alright, so I don't know. I hope you can see that with the lighting. See it just put a nice little 
distressed look on it. And so all I did was lightly brush on the wax and I took my paper towel and wiped it off. I'm not gonna be able to do the rest of it right now because it's still wet and I don't have a blow dryer handy. Besides, I wouldn't put y'all through that. But I am going to let it dry and then I'm gonna finish waxing it and I'll post a picture tomorrow along with the first one I made so you can see the difference in the colors. But it's really cute. It's really pretty. I wish you could see it in person. I wish you had like super cute, under 10 bucks. And you saw where I started and this is what we ended up with, or around $10. Super cute. And like uh, Kim said, you could put one of those glass balls, you could put candy dish, a vase, or an actual candle. The possibilities are endless. Or you could just leave it like that and get the materials to make some varying heights, right? And have just like a architectural um, piece element in your decor. That's pretty as well. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make a DIY. I call it a candlestick, a pedestal, whatever. But it's super cute. So I hope this inspires you to grab these materials next time you're at your home store. Um, Home Depot, um, Lowe's, get the stuff, make one, send me a picture, I'd love to see what your project turns out like. And Kim, I hope you get sunshine tomorrow. Love you guys. Happy crafting.